What is up everyone and welcome to the unboxing of this absolutely awesome Amiibo stand. This is the Mario N-Level display stand for your Amiibos. This is an official Nintendo licensed product. It's going to be absolutely awesome and as you guys know, my Amiibo collection is growing so it'll be really, really nice to have somewhere to display them. Now I'd like to say a massive, massive thank you to Jess. She bought me this for my birthday along with uh, loads of other really, really nice nice things. And one of those other nice things was this. This is Yoshi's Woolly World. As you guys can see, limited edition, complete with Yoshi in there, um, Yoshi Amiibo. This is actually getting quite hard to find in this country, so she was kind enough to buy me this. I missed this first time around. I was going to pre-order it and get it and do all the proper stuff, um, but I just didn't have the money at the time or whatever, and I didn't get around to it, so she's got me this as well, and I've been dying to, uh, to play this game. And also, I really, really do love collecting these big box Wii U games games. So there will be a bonus unboxing of this after unboxing this. If anyone's interested, stick around uh, to the end of the video to see that, the unboxing of Yoshi's Woolly World. Such a wonderful gift. But I'm sure a lot of you are curious to see this. This is a fairly new product on the market. You can get it on Amazon, I'll link it down below, but you can also buy it in Argos in the UK, which is really cool, along with other places probably. So let's dig in and have a little look. The box is very plain and simple. It's quite rattly. Uh, I can hear all the different pieces inside moving around, so I'm definitely excited to get, out, get it out and see uh, how to put it together, how to build it, and basically how it looks in person. Now, I think this is a really cool idea for an amiibo stand just because it's so Mario-like. It's really, really good for your Mario series amiibo. Maybe it's not good if you're sort of collecting the, uh, the Pokemon amiibo or some of the other different types of amiibo on the Smash Bros side of things, but I myself am collecting the Super Mario series just because there's less of them and I generally prefer the designs. So, wow, there it is pretty much sort of semi together already, which is cool. Let's put the box to one side and pull it out. As you guys can see, here are the blocks looking really cool. Nice um, plastic, brown plastic. And if I grab an amiibo right here, let's grab Bowser. Come on, buddy. You guys can see that they fit perfectly into the circle. So not only are they sort of like a modular design, like one, one block into another sort of thing, but the amiibo fits into the circles as well. So really, really well designed there. I really like that. So moving that off to the side, let's get some more blocks out. They're all basically blocks, all coming apart, all coming together nicely. Wow, there's a lot of them. Awesome, this is so cool. When I saw this, guys, I just had to have it. Whoa, <laughs> brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Now this is fully modular, so you don't have to set it up um, like an end level display, but you can if you want to, so that's really cool. Now there's a bit of paperwork in here, and there is also, of course, the flag for the end of the level, which is great, and it says Amiibo on it, so a very, very nice design right there. Let's slide this out and put that there. Now I don't actually know how the flag attaches at this moment in time. I thought there would be somewhere for it on the base, but there must be somewhere for it on one of the blocks. So let's pop a few blocks into the base and see how far we get. So they clip in really nice and firmly, which is cool. Let's clip a few more in. Ah, here it is, guys. Here is the end one. It's got that little hole in it, so that must mean that goes there. Therefore, that goes there. There we go. That clips in like that. Awesome. Pretty simple. Let's put the missing one in and then you can just stack it up, which is really cool. So I'm going to stack it up just like the proper end level display. I know it's modular, but this is probably the coolest way to have it. Like that. This thing is pretty massive, guys. It's definitely sort of bigger than you, you'd expect. Even though you know the size of your Amiibos, it's still hard to imagine how big the stand is gonna be. And this stand is pretty big, but absolutely awesome as well. So, there you have it. Check that out, guys. How awesome is that? Now, I'm not getting the 
flag in shot. Um, so hang on a sec, have I got it around the right way? Just trying to picture, yeah, there we go. So if I move the camera up a little bit, you guys can see right there. Now let's, uh, let's pop some Amiibo in. Let's put Bowser at the top because he's huge and awesome. So that's him there. Let's put, I don't know, 30th anniversary 8-bit Mario at the bottom. <laughs> there he goes. Let's put Yoshi there. Let's put Mario there. And in terms of my Mario Amiibos, they are all of the ones that I own at the moment, but I also own Squid from Splatoon. I'm not sure if he's friends with Bowser. He doesn't quite match. And of course, now I own Yoshi as well, but I haven't got him out of the box yet. So as you guys can see, they look awesome. Now I do hope to collect um, Peach, Toad and Luigi to complete um, the Super Mario series Amiibo collection, as well as a few others. I can have these dotted along the front as well, which I think will look really cool. I could always sit Squid there. He looks pretty awesome. But yeah, that is that guy's looking beastly. Now I think what I'm gonna do is pop him back there. His foot's in the way, there we go. Let's slide him around. He'd actually be better on the top. He'd be much better on the top because he looks as if he's going, jumping for the flag. And let's put Bowser, let's put Bowser there. This is, this is of course really important placement guys. Yoshi there, awesome. Now let's slide these guys back to there and use this space to take a look at Yoshi's woolly world. Ah, oh, guys, I love getting new Wii U stuff. It's just so exciting. As you guys know, I'm a big, big Wii U fan. Love the console, love Nintendo. Um, I've done various videos about it. Just search my channel for Wii U. So this is um, Yoshi's Woolly World with Amiibo, which, like I said, is getting hard to find in this country. Lovely, lovely artwork all over the box, all in a sort of wool kind of knitted... Um, sort of design. I know the Americans say yarn a lot. We don't say yarn over here. We say wool and, and knitting and knitted. You can see him on the side there looking awesome. You can see all the different kind of Yoshis there after scanning Amiibo, I believe. Uh, Yoshi this, Yoshi that, Amiibo. There he is on the side. Shows you that you get the game and the Amiibo. Let's open it up. I'm dying to open it up. Ping. Move those aside. Let's slide out the game first if we can get it out. I've had three of these now, these limited edition boxes. Um, this is my third. I also have Splatoon, as you guys know, I unboxed on the channel, and uh, Super Mario Maker. I did have a whole video planned around Super Mario Maker, but unfortunately my footage got damaged. Um, I had SD card issues. I went and made a vlog about it and everything, but it all, all kind of messed up. But there we have it, Yoshi's Woolly World, a game that I've wanted since I heard about it, and now I finally have it, which is awesome. Right there, as you can see, colorful, wonderful artwork. Cannot wait to play that. There is the game. Let's lean that right about there. And pulling him out, here we have him. There he is, Yoshi Amiibo. And yes, we will be opening the Amiibo packaging on camera. But first, I want to get a nice shot of this sitting here. I don't want to block Squid, but you know, actually, let's break the rules a little bit or bend the rules a little bit. Put a Squid up there. He looks absolutely crazy. Oh yeah, guys. Awesome. Hang on. Out of frame a little bit. Look at that. Look at that, guys. That is just pure, pure art right there. So I'm going to get a new angle and we are going to take Yoshi out of his box. So here we have it. There's a very specific way that I like to open my Amiibos. Um, I know a lot of people open them this way, but I basically get my knife and I make incisions along every corner of the box apart from the top. That way you can get the Amiibos out of the bottom and the box still looks uh, pretty much intact. I do keep my Amiibo boxes. I think the boxes are really nice, but I don't keep them sealed. Um, to anyone that says that you should not open your Amiibo and keep them sealed, in my opinion, that's a little bit ridiculous because of the sheer amount 
of people that are keeping these sealed. They are not, they are not gonna become collectible for years and years to come. At least the majority of Amiibos won't. Um, people keeping like Mario and stuff sealed is just ridiculous because of the amount of people out there that are doing it. So go ahead, open your Amiibos, scan them in and have some fun. That's what I would do. And if you really do wanna collect them and keep them in the box, um, then you should dedicate enough cashola to buying two of every amiibo and then one to play with and one to keep in the box but i'm not a fan of that that kind of collecting i do collect in a sense um but i don't sort of force myself to to do collectory type things if i want to play with something i'll i'll, I'll play with it but there you go, that's all you need to do to get into your Amiibos. That way you can slide everything out from inside. There you go, and the box just sits back down nicely, which is great. So here he is, here's Yoshi, he is attached. Let's figure out how he's attached. Okay, a little bit of like tape holding him on is there. Oh, his label is around there, I see. There we go. Okay, he is out and he is absolutely gorgeous. Look at him, guys. Isn't he wonderful? As you can see, wonderful detailing. He does scan. He doesn't have a base. He's pretty much just like a plushie, but he I can confirm that he is an amiibo. You can also get a pink one and a blue one. They're very light, a lot lighter than I thought he'd be. Um, if we just go up there, I think that he will look awesome sitting there. Look at that, guys. That is uber cute. So taking a look at Yoshi uh, Woolly World Amiibo versus normal Yoshi Amiibo. As you can see, quite a size difference, but also quite a design difference as well. So there they are. I wonder if they're friends. Absolutely awesome, guys. Love it, love it, love it. So as you can probably tell, that was my unboxing of the Mario N-level display stand for Amiibos, as well as Yoshi's Woolly World. Both awesome awesome products. I'd like to say a massive, massive thank you to Jess for getting me such groovy presents for my 21st birthday. Really, really enjoying all of this stuff. Massive, massive thanks to you guys for watching, and as always, I will catch you in the next one.